By now, there is a need for more advocates for children facing abuse and neglect at home. Last week, we told you how a drop in reports to the state during the coronavirus crisis actually might indicate more of these cases are happening. But KXA investigator Avery Travis found out children continue to enter the foster care system and in many counties in Central Texas, there aren't enough volunteers to help. Domestic violence, drugs in the home, there may be significant mental health issues. Just some of the reasons more than a thousand Texas kids are removed from their homes each month. And while reports of abuse and neglect are down, the data shows removals have held fairly steady, with CPS still investigating, even during emergency stay-at-home orders. And as things like school and summer camps begin to open, we do expect to see probably an influx of reports and likely an increase in the number of kids coming into the system. CASA already needs more court appointed special advocates to fight for kids best interests. Right now there are nearly 500 volunteers in Travis County, but close to 600 kids still need one. CASA for the Highland Lakes area from San Saba down to Blanco serves fewer kids, but says 38 of them still need an advocate. I just think it's really accelerated. Um, the the isolation, the abuse. They've seen more than 30 new cases just since mid-March. We thrive on, on seeing the kids in person. So how have your volunteers been addressing kids' problems during this health crisis? Through Zoom, through FaceTime. We've had advocates leave a pizza on, on the porch and just be creative. They say the community can get creative too, donating gift cards or tablets and technology to help these kids. And create some sense of normalcy. Avery Travis, KXAN News. CASA has moved their volunteer training entirely online now. We've got details on how you can get involved online right now at KXAN.com.